Hey guys, everything new under the sun. This is an unbox and review of a pure sine wave inverter. Now this is something I got off Amazon. It is only a 600 watt unit, but I only had so much money to spend on this. This is for uh, my Airstream. This is a GoWise Power PS1001 pure sine wave inverter, 600 watts. It has uh, a surge wattage to 1200 watts. Um, I haven't really tested that. Um, I've decided for most of what I'm going to be doing, there's no way I'm going to be using 600 watts continuous on this thing. Maybe 100, 150 watts continuous on this thing at any one time. <clears throat> so I felt this was uh, good enough for me. This is $126.85 Canadian uh, on Amazon uh, currently. So it comes with some alligator clips. Uh, if you want the full wattage out of it, you need to get um, not the the proper clips so you can actually connect it directly to the battery posts for full amperage. Uh, but for the clips, <clears throat> you know, that's going to work to 300 watts or 400 watts or something. Again, I don't really expect to be using that much. Something to think about, though. Here's a look at the back of it. It's got um, the points to connect the alligator clips to. It's got a couple of, I believe they're 30 amp clips, and it's got a ground connector as well. Um, it's a it's a generic power tech on, so I don't know where the GoWise comes from. I assume it's a general Chinese company. Um, but it is 12 volt, obviously, for my setup. It does have a power button on it, and it has a fault uh, indicator. One USB plug, two three-pronged grounded outlets, which is nice. I'm going to be powering the whole camper with 120 uh, volts for this one, with, with this one. It does come with a remote on off switch as well, uh, which is what I was uh, showing you there. So here I go and plug in uh, the remote switch, which you can uh, put up on a wall somewhere, up on a cabinet, so you don't have to reach under um, to turn this on. And um, I'm just hooking it up. So I've just got one 90 amp hour uh, absorbed glass mat AGM back there. Not a huge battery, <clears throat> and it's over four years old. It's probably six years old now. So it doesn't have full amp hour um, amp hours left in it uh, but uh, it's good enough for what I do now I did a little test uh, later on you can see the midnight solar there as well I need to clean this up and I'll probably be doing that today as I record this video which is July 6th and I'll be getting rid of that other 1000 watt inverter which was a modified sine wave the reason I got the pure sign is because uh, it's way easier on electronics it's also more efficient as well. For So for 600 watts, you get a true 600 watts worth of energy. Whereas with 1,000 watt, you would need 1,000 watts just to run 500 watts of, you know, AC motor or something like that. So there's a light with the uh, remote switch. Uh, you can see the light on there. So I got this to pump up a camper air mattress. And my issue was that the camper air mattress, ha it has a... A pump in it <clears throat> but when I was plugging it into the modified sine wave it actually wouldn't turn on at all I do a demonstration and uh, today interestingly it happens to fire up on the modified sine wave um, but when I turn it on you'll be able to hear a difference it doesn't spin as fast or pump as fast as when I put it into the pure sine wave so I think I think it's a voltage issue um, plus uh, AC motors that are expecting AC run just run better more efficiently on pure sine wave and you can also wreck motors uh, if, if it's not pure sine wave so the pure sine does uh, make it run so here's an example of it running off um, the 1000 watt. so you can hear the kind of the pitch of of the motor and it's pumping it up this is going to go in the front of our vehicle so now i can go ahead and plug it into the 600 watt and you can hear the difference in uh, the pump sound So I think you can hear it's a it's a higher higher noise of the the pumps going faster spinning faster and it just sounds a lot better and it's going to be a lot better for it it's also going to be a lot better for you know our MacBooks and our iPads when things are plugged in charging um, <clears throat> not only that but it's also more efficient use of the 12 volt energy um, takes more power units take more power um, with the modified sine wave so you put a pure sine wave in there and you're actually 
uh, being more efficient with your 12 volt energy. And so one of the main reasons we need electricity is uh, for this air mattress. This is a, um, a secondhand camper air mattress uh, love seat that we got because the original gaucho in this Airstream uh, was ripped out. Um, and we don't really have a, a ton of other needs for electricity other than it's nice to be able to plug in a, a MacBook now and then, but you know most campgrounds have uh, have electrical anyway, so you're going to have a shoreline anyways. But I prefer to do everything I can uh, without having to hook up a shoreline. And so for the few times that we need some AC, um, this inverter is going to be very well suited, and uh, it's going to be more. It's going to provide more power um, than I <clears throat> really foresee at this point. Even a cooler, um, you know, will only be 100, uh, 200 watts. A fridge. Again, you're talking about 200 watts, uh, etc. So um, you don't need 600 watts. You certainly don't need 1,000 watts. It's nice to have if you want to run a home a well pump or something in an emergency. Uh, but for a camper, it's certainly plenty. And for the price point, less than 150 bucks, um, it seems to work well. And it's certainly a, a pure sine wave. So I'll leave it there, guys. That's my comments on the pure sine wave uh, go wise inverter. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.